Hi, this is Kendra and welcome back to Books Beauty Kendra. Okay. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul. It's my first book haul and it's a small one. It's not that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books long. That was loud, sorry. Okay. They're kind of grouped into little categories. First being, the first book I have today is The Witch of the Forest's Guide to Earth Magic by Lindsay Squire. I think it's very beautiful. I'm trying to get into witchcraft and all that. I think it's amazing. I in so interesting as well. I just want to try it out and I've gotten a few things to just like get me through it and it's got this book has really nice illustrations in it so I'm hoping that will be a good read. The next again getting into witchy stuff we have this book The Spell Book for New Witches Essential Spells to Change Your Life by Ambrosia Hawthorne. This again is just easy spells that you can do and yeah just oh it's got some stuff in it um it's just got essential spells to change your life the next one is spin the dawn by elizabeth lim i have read the first book in the Six Crimson Cranes duology and I'm currently in the middle of The Dragon's Promise and I hear this one kind of follows along or makes mention to some of the characters from that series so once I finish that I want to jump into the Spin the Dawn duology it should be really fun then another YA but this time more contemporary romance. We have this absolute stunner. Highly suspicious and unfairly cute by Talia Hibbert. I have loved well I've loved the whole Brown Sisters series. Um, I've read also her two Christmas novellas Merry Inkmas and something else. <laughs> And I think it's really fun. This one is about two ex-best friends who have to pair together on a survival trip and what will happen when they do. It sounds like fun. Second chance romance, I'm thinking. Friends to lovers. All that fun stuff. Next, this one. Oh, looks so pretty. It's The House Witch. By, let me try not to butcher this, Delamarch, Delamarch, look it, you try and pronounce that, I don't know how to. What is this one about? A heartwarming and humorous blend of fantasy, romance and mystery, featuring a witch with domestic powers and the royal household he serves dinner. I think it'd be funny and cute and just I need more fantasy in my life because I love it and if it's got romance in it maybe it'll make it go faster because fantasy is slow. Okay, last three books they are all romance. First one is Unhinged by Only James. This is about a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's about a serial killer or a man who has adopted a bunch of psychopaths and this one is a serial killer who kills bad guys, much like Dexter, I'm thinking, and yeah, he just... I don't know, falls in love with the guy that he killed the father of. 
<laughs> which will be really funny. And also, I'm hoping kind of cute. I'm going to Rare 23 in Melbourne. So, and I think only James is going to be there. So if I read it before then, I will hope to get that signed by her. So that will be most fun. Then, I have... Loathe to Love You by Ali Hazelwood. I've read all of these feminist novellas. What are they? Under One Roof, Stuck With You, and Below Zero. My favourite one is Under One Roof, then what is it? Below Zero, then Stuck With You. Those two are five stars. Four, 4.5. I love Ali Hazelwood. I think She's got some fun things. This one's about three friends, three college friends, university friends, however you say it, I see university. It's about these three friends who move to different parts of the US and start to develop relationships with different men. Some of these are second chance, some of these are hate to love. It's all fun. All fun and games. And then lucky last we have Everything For You by Chloe Lees. This is um, the fifth the fifth book in a Bergman Brothers novel series. I am currently up to the third one. I really love it. I wanted to get this one before the Penguin editions come out so they can match. Because I'm, I don't know, weird, crazy obsessed like that take your pick this is about oh this one's about Oliver that will be fun he's one of the younger brothers in the Bergman family I'm up to the third one where it's about the sister so it's not all brothers um, and yeah they're all soccer players and this one's this one's about a soccer player and his teammate, so Oliver is a soccer player, and Gavin is the teammate, and I think it's a bit of hate to love, which is always fun. So yeah, those are all the books I've gotten so far in January, which, thinking it's only the first month of 2023, is a bit insane but we're going to try and read them all very soon now I have to pick which one I want to read first to be honest it's probably the Talia Hibbert or the House Witch because they look the most fun okay so I hope you enjoyed the video today I am Kendra this has been Books Beauty Kendra, please consider liking the video, commenting, don't have to subscribe yet, this is only my second video, so do what you want, and yeah, maybe leave a comment down below with the most recent book purchase you've made. Okay, 